Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how to reconcile PayPal refund and fund reversal transactions that come through to your zero bank feed. I'm going to reconcile a couple of Australian dollar transactions, but the theory is the same for any currency. So you can go ahead and use the lesson in this video, no matter what currency you're using in zero. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Zero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so what we've got here is some data that I've downloaded from PayPal and I've uploaded it into Google Sheets. And I've also just hidden some columns because we don't need to see absolutely everything. And what we're going to be looking at is here on the 4th of November, we've got this sale through eBay for $298.50 and there's an $8.06 PayPal fee there as well. So the net is $290.44. And then the next day there's a payment refund. You can see there to the same person, Kelly A. So we're refunding the $298.50 and we're getting a refund for most of the PayPal fee, but it's minus 30 cents. So it's $7.76 there compared to $8.06 up there. And then we've got the net amount here as well. So these are the two transactions that we're going to look to reconcile in zero. So over here in zero in the demo company, I've just set up a PayPal account quickly and I've uploaded those transactions. So I'll just click in there. Okay. So here we are in the reconciliation screen for that PayPal account. And if I scroll down a bit, we should be able to find that sale to Kelly a for 298.50 on the 4th of November. And there's the fee we got charged as well. So you can see the fee there. And then the next day you can see the refund coming out. It says payment refund. And then we've got the fee um, being refunded back to us as well. Okay, so for the sale, we would just reconcile it as a normal sale. So I'm just going to fill out the details here. So I've just got Kelly A as who. And then for the account, I'm just going to pick sales. And then you can see there my little GST on income um, tax rate came up as well, just down there. So just make sure you get your right tax rates in there. This is Australian GST, but you might be using VAT in the UK, for example. And then for Y, I'll just put um, eBay sale. Just like that, just to speed things up. And then down here, we've got the fee. So I'll just put down their uh, PayPal fee or just PayPal and then for the account, I'll just put it to bank fees. And again, it's come up with the right uh, tax code there. You can actually set up a general ledger code just for uh, the specific fee. So PayPal or eBay or whatever the fee is that you're um, reconciling. So I'm just going to use bank fees though. And down here, I'll just say PayPal fee like that as the description. So we can go ahead and click OK and reconcile those. And then the very next day down here on the fifth, we've got the opposing transaction. So we've got the refund. So what we'll do is we'll just put Kelly A in again. Okay, so this is going to go through sales as well. You can create a general ledger code for sales refunds if you want, but I'm just gonna put it through sales as it has the same effect on the profit and loss, um, et cetera, in the accounts. And then down here, I'm just going to say um, sale refund. Okay. But you can put a different description in there if you want, depending on what you want. So it's got the tax code in there correctly again. And then down here for the fee, we'll just put that one in as well. So I've got PayPal as who, and then that bank fees account there. And then I'll just say PayPal fee refunded for my description there. So basically what I've done is I've just put exactly the same details in the who, what, and why for each one um, for the refund, uh, for the sale refund and for the fee. So I've got the same details for the sale refund as I had for the sale and the same details for the fee refund as I had for the fee, but obviously the transactions are on the other side. So they're going to cancel each other out in the accounts when I click okay. So we'll just do that. Okay, and then what I might do is just duplicate the screen and we'll go into account transactions and we'll look in sales 
and I will make this report November. That's the month that the transactions occurred. I'll uh, just get the date here. Like so an update. Okay, so now you can see we've got a credit there for the eBay sale and we've got a debit there for the sale refund and they cancel each other out. So in November, if this was the only two transactions that we had in November in sales, then we would end up with um, a net of no sales. So that's fine. And then if we go and have a look at bank fees, you can see we've got almost the same thing. We've got the debit where we got charged our PayPal fee, and then we've got the refund there of 776. So we've actually got 30 cents there as the uh, net amount that we've paid in fees to PayPal. Okay, so that's how you can go ahead and reconcile um, amounts that have gone through PayPal and have been refunded, whether they're eBay or Amazon or something else, um, some other platform that you sell from, you can just go ahead and code them to the same general ledger code that you put the original transaction to, but it will come through on the other side. So the refund here will come through as a credit and the refund of the sale came through as a debit. Okay, so that's how you can reconcile any refunds that come through your PayPal account and into zero.